Greeting, this is Ahmad from Global Project Control. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can divide date and time from each other. It is very useful for P6 spreadsheet user because if you even use the correct setting, as you see, do not show the time and use month name in the setting and sample should be same as here. But when I used to export let me to go through the steps actual and I'm going to add finish and a start. Then if I going to open the file, and as you see, the file exported in combination of date and time, how you can divide it. And you need to divide it in order to use the safe and sound import data to your project. When you face it with this problem, you should use a text to column formula in Excel. Let me to use the copy and paste it over here. If I'm going to data tab and find the text to column. Text to column have two section. The fixed section is useful for us for this stage. If you want to change the divided section, you can change the place of this divider. If you want to add another divider, you can use a double click another one add and that's it only you need to select the appropriate destination and then use the finish all you need is over here if I change the format to the date As you see, the time is removed from my output. Also, from, for over here, if I change the format to the time only, you can find only the time. And this R is not useful. And I can use the copy and paste it that's it that's all you need that is all you need in order to use some correction in exported file from Primavera P6 I hope this lesson would be useful for you Please keep in touch with my LinkedIn, YouTube, and Instagram, and Facebook for further lesson. Also, you can follow my hashtag, Global Project Control, in order to find all of my lessons in the same page. Thank you for your subscription in my channel.